Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of Modelify from NSOFT Corp. Modelify is a tool that converts large C language embedded source codes into Simulink models and to state flow. For this demonstration, we will be converting sample C code into Simulink models using the latest version of Modelify, along with NSOFT's code analysis tool, Atlas, which processes source code for Java and C. Let's start our conversion process by opening our sample C code in the development environment Eclipse. Atlas will create a detailed graph database in order to store all the information about the code, the relationships, etc. With this information, we can use it to do the conversion. For example, we can see the data flow for this function in a smart view. If we enlarge that, we can see a more detailed view. Here we see a number of nodes and edges that calculate the data flow as it goes through the code. Another way to think about this is if the graph was rotated 90 degrees on its side, it would appear like a Simulink model with its nodes and edges. For the sake of this demonstration, we have already staged and converted this demo project in order to save time. For a conversion, Modelify will first read through the code to make sure that it understands everything and chooses the best way to convert the code. There are many ways in which we can configure how the model is converted, for example, Simulink versus Stateflow. Modelify will recommend what it thinks is the best way to convert the function to a model, but we can also manually select how the function will be converted. The options are Simulink, Stateflow, and S-Function. We can also configure whether or not the function can be converted as a subsystem or as a user library model. A user library can be used when the C function is called from a number of places and should be shared. In doing the conversion, it is possible that there will be something strange in the code that Modelify has not converted before. Since Modelify is not familiar with these, it will flag it to alert the developer that it is unsure how to proceed, but will still attempt to convert it. The developer can then inspect these flagged instances and implement a proper conversion based on the flagged items. Once the conversion is complete, we can click on an instance and show the conversion for the code. For each model, there are imports for any function parameters and global variables that are read, and outports for a return value and global variables that are written. You'll probably notice that there are a lot of blocks for these very few lines of code. This is considered a verbose conversion because it creates a block for everything as it appears in the code. This can, however, be simplified and configurable. We have a concept called reductions, which can simplify or improve the model in several different ways. A gain block can be used in order to represent the multiplication by a constant and is simplified in this way. Multiple additions, multiplications, or divisions can be collapsed into a single arithmetic block. This is another example of a reduction. Some clients have told us that they prefer to see the multiplication in the constant blocks instead of using gain blocks. These are easily enabled or disabled depending on the client or company needs. Let's enable them for this demonstration. Now, if we reconvert everything, we can open the same instance from before, and you'll now notice that the model is much simpler. Any chained arithmetic operations have been joined together into a single block and gain blocks have been created. Bus and vector access blocks have also been simplified. This is an excellent example of how the reductions work. We notice in the Modelify view that a number of the functions in this C file are nested beneath other functions. These functions are being converted as subsystems rather than standalone models because they are only used for this single place. This is another example of information that we can gather from Atlas by looking at the relationships between functions. We can open one of the models that has a subsystem and then enter that subsystem and see the conversion for all of it. Another important feature in Modelify is the ability to map certain C functions to equivalent Simulink blocks. For example, common C math functions can be replaced by the standard Simulink blocks. We can also configure Modelify to replace a client's custom library functions with Simulink blocks. This function is an example of this case where we can see the C code calling custom library arithmetic functions and the Simulink model is created using the standard Simulink blocks. Modelify is automatically configured to map many of the functions from the CMath library to the corresponding Simulink blocks. A common use case that we have addressed with Modelify is the need to calibrate a control system. In the C source code, this is often represented by constants or macros in a header file. 
During the C to simulant conversion, we extract the constants that are used and store them in an initialization file for the models. This initialization file can either be an M script or a data dictionary file. The initialization file will then be registered with each Simulink model created so that necessary data types and constants are loaded. This initialization file has been created for a number of the converted functions. Modelify also displays a name and an annotation that states at what line in the code that block represents, underneath each block within the models. This helps show how the conversion was done and how the code is represented in the models. Modelify will also create an HTML report that can help show how the code was converted. It shows the source code on the left and the names of all the blocks that were created for each line of code on the right. It also contains a screenshot of the model so you can look between the source code and the model to see how the conversion was done. An HTML report will be created for each model that is created and we can navigate between each of them to review the entire conversion. This has just been a quick demonstration at Modelify converting C code into Simulink models. If you'd like to try Modelify on your own code, visit www.nsoftcorp.com slash Modelify and request a trial today.